Marty, uh, let me turn to you. I, I mentioned earlier, you guys have done several things uh, at UNC in the last several months, but uh, maybe you could just give us a general idea of what you think some of the most important things that a member uh, or let's say a board of trustees could do uh, to promote free expression on campus. Sure. I, I think some of the easier ones to go through would be uh, Chicago principles, Calvin report, um, the banning of compelled speech. Um, then you've got kind of next steps of things like uh, our school of civic life and leadership uh, program for public discourse you know, I'm hopeful that soon we will be tackling even more in freshman orientation um, and uh, with uh, kind of student debate programs, encouraging that, uh, making sure you've got uh, non-discrimination policies. Uh, those are all the different ones that are getting kind of knocked around these days on campuses. So I think that's the that's what we're spotting. But to Eric's point, I think the other critical thing is we've got to make sure these policies are being followed. Uh, and that probably means using your audit um, departments or audit committees or your different uh, schools to make sure that the policies are being followed. 